I've been ringing and texting you. Yeah, it's worrying when people don't answer your calls, isn't it? You know why I was ringing. But I'm sorry, can we just start again? How did it go? Headline? We're screwed. She's a way better chance of getting sole residency after you kidnap Seb. Oh, and there's more. How do supervised visits grab you? An hour in the family room at social services with social workers breathing down her necks. Well, look, it's me that's got to make this right. There must be something I can do. Yeah, you could build a time machine out of a DeLorean, hit 88 miles an hour, go back and change what you did yesterday. Or we can try mediation, try and convince Rebecca that we're not serial baby stealers. But it's not easy when she's refusing to even speak to me now. We'll make her talk to us then. Well, it's a pity you didn't talk to me yesterday before you decided to keep hold of Seb. Thanks to you, it looks like I've lost my son for good now. So he's your son now, not ours. Oh, my son, our son. It's a figure of speech. I'm angry, OK? I reckon I'm allowed to be. Everything the solicitor said was always going to be the worst-case scenario. Yeah, I wish that were true. What if it's not? Since when have you been such a defeatist? We need to get real. If we don't play this right, she could stop us from seeing him by messing us around over access arrangements, cancelling us on us at the last minute, insisting on dates that she knows that are impossible. It's all very subtle and we couldn't prove it. She wouldn't do that. Yeah, her, maybe not, but what about Ross? Fine, you know what, then you give up. I'm not letting him do that to us. We're gonna work some out that's fair. When are you gonna get it in your head that we are not in a position to make negotiations? Not now. It's game over and we've lost because you broke the rules. And before you start, you should know what you did. I know, Chas told me. He's been an idiot. I think we've lost Seb for good. I'm, I'm sorry, I... It's all right, I understand. He's your son. Yours and Aaron's. Any loss is tough. But it's tough on Aaron especially because he's just lost his little sister as well. You know, Chaz has seen him laying flowers at the grave. The hardest part of losing someone you love is trying to struggle through it on your own. But you've got each other. Maybe the only way you're going to get through this is by pulling together. <laughs>